Now our Hispanic Heritage Month coverage continues tonight, and we're highlighting what's being called a transformational new center for West Michigan's Latino business community right here in Grand Rapids. News 8's Byron Tollefson talked with the man behind the plan and a Latino business owner about the difference it will make. This former manufacturing building on Godfrey Avenue is expected to one day be a hub for Latino business leaders around West Michigan. Latino business leaders say it will be a game changer. Ismael Abreu is a first-generation American who's become a successful Latino business owner handling insurance for 2,000 clients in Grand Rapids and Wyoming. He says a problem for first-generation Latinos trying to start a business, most trainings in English. Having that support of how things work here in the United States in their own language, you know, learning about accounting, learning about business plan, learning about uh, marketing, and learning about how to manage you know, uh, employees, you know, it, it's just priceless to have it in your own language. That's exactly what a brand new West Michigan Hispanic Chamber of Commerce will provide. Training for business owners in Spanish inside a nine million dollar renovated facility on Godfrey Avenue aimed to help Latinos start up and grow their business, providing training and resources. It's going to be a game changer to new entrepreneurs here and in the area and also the, the economic growth. Of, of the of the Hispanics in the area. This is um, something that we have been waiting for uh, for a long time. We don't have spaces like this um, uh, led by Latinos for Latinos that can bring investment. The renovation is spurred by $5 million in the state budget, which Chamber President Guillermo Cisneros calls a historic investment. In the history of the Latino community in this region that has, it has been, you know, over a little bit over 100 years, you know, we have never experienced this investment before. The renovated center will have conference rooms fitting 200 people, a commercial kitchen to help future restaurant owners start up their craft, and a collaborative space for business owners to work together. So we want to make sure that we create a hub with everyone can connect with our community. Cisnero says the Latino population in West Michigan is projected to grow by 130% by 2045, and the community should be ready to help the next generation prosper. Not just make their sales, you know, for one year or, or, or the next two years, but we want to make sure that there is creation of wealth, you know, and this wealth uh, passes on to the next generation of Latinos. We are not seeing that right now. And he says that conversation should be happening far beyond Hispanic Heritage Month. But really, we need to focus, you know, on connecting with Hispanics every month, not just once, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, you know, one time during the year. Cisneros expects construction to start next spring and be ready to go by the end of next year. In Grand Rapids, Byron Tollefson, News 8.